Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things Twin Flame. So in this video, I want to talk about and address something that you hear a lot out there, which is that your Twin Flame thinks of you all the time, okay? You're sitting there wondering, why if they're thinking of me, why aren't they just reaching out, you know? And oh, that would be so simple, right? How much needless suffering could be avoided. But everyone will go into some form of separation and suffice it to say about that. So let's talk about how does your twin think of you? How do they do that? And how do you do it with them as well? Because number one, it has to go way beyond what sometimes people call twin flame telepathy. There's a thing to know. When you have people milling about you have a lot of collective mental energy. People are worried about things. They're thinking of things. They're creating things with their minds. They're, you know, having scatter. They're having mentally scattered thoughts, ADHD. They're obsessing about things. They're compulsing about things. And it's not helpful for anyone. Where twin flames actually have the true communication, it's above that din. That's number one. So how do they do that? How do you do it with each other? Number one, you have a direct connection right into the heart. Okay, there's no foolishness about this. Like we didn't come down here randomly and just decide to like, you know, wake some people up and, you know, trip you around through the mud. It can feel like that though. Just like watching, you know, too much uh, videos or you know, TV shows, it can start to dumb down your senses. For twin flames, you're not intended to have your senses dumbed down about each other. So how they think of you is actually think feeling. They're feeling, you're feeling them. You pick up and interpret what it is that this feeling is. And then you go from there. Now, I don't always say take action right away. You still have to do you. You do you. Because the direct connection is into the heart. What does that mean? You have to have a healthy heart. You have to have an unburdened heart. You have to have a heart that's not carrying all these worries around with you. You can't have stress. This is why a lot of self-care comes into play. And it, believe me, it is important. If you cannot break away you need to get my book where I talk about the routines in there. What is your daily routine so that you can fit it into a busy day? Not leave it to be a weekend warrior, twin flame, you know, flamethrower about it. You have to be able to do it daily because it's you. The next thing is our ears. And this includes our extrasensory perceptions or what they called in the 1970s. ESP. Do you have ESP? Now, it was believed people couldn't just develop this. Yes, you can. Not only that, each other wants you to, okay? Your other wants you to develop this with each other. You have to be able to do it over long distances sometimes. You have to be able to do it if one of you goes on a trip to help family or to, you know, take a business trip or something, or even if you're building a house someplace else, one of you has to stay put. The other one is checking on all the stuff or moving. So how do you do that? Well, you have to develop your senses. How is that done? It's done through the integration of your brand new template. Now that is the proactive part. In a passive way, it's your ears. It's the sounds that don't register to the human ear but you can still pick up the frequencies. What's that? Your twin has a frequency? Yes, because they're at a vibration and an essence, and you should be able to be above the din, picking up their essence wherever you are, wherever you are. This is how we exclude the world, and we let only our twins in. We can still be in the world, but not be of the world where it's getting to us. If the world gets to you too much or if you're not doing proper self-care, you'll kind of keep sinking and sinking and sinking and you'll find that this wears you down. It's not energizing for you. You'll feel fatigued. You'll feel bitter and like you want to just give up. So don't do that. The next thing is 
desire, desire, it keeps pulling you. How do you know that your twin thinks of you? You feel it, but your feeling creates thoughts of, we want to be together. I need this. I need it like air that I breathe. And it's not desperate or needy, but it, it is just primeval. It is primal. You need, and yes, you need, because that is the other half. That is what is going to fulfill your other body parts that no soulmate can ever touch. The next thing is you get um, sort of what I would call above board feelings. You get more intimacy. Who wouldn't like more intimacy? Intimacy is also a thing of how does your twin flame think of you, okay? It's not what they're thinking that they want to get you naked in the bedroom kind of thoughts. That's private. Okay, and you will still know those things because they will think it, but it will be in an above board way. True intimacy between two people who are having very similar connections, similar drives in their life, similar standards, similar qualities, but you're not exactly the same because you are two different people from two different backgrounds. How does that happen? It happens through intimacy in intimate moments when you're in a separation. People that are up close and personal sometimes don't even know how to create that. And this is another reason for separation. The next thing is, as we know, how many men complain about this and women complain about it, where suddenly you're intimate and the other person says, what are you thinking? How many people just want to click off and put up their walls right then and there? With your twin flame, how they do this is they cannot put up walls. You're breaking down every barrier inside. You're breaking, you're eroding it. You're waving it away. You're blowing it away. You're using everything because there are more ways than 12 to get this done. And you better believe it that I know how to guide you through those ways. Because that is my calling. That is what I do here. All these things help you develop what I would genuinely call lover's intuition. Lover's intuition means that it, faster than the speed of light, faster than you could even think it, it's in you. It's like... It could be across miles and I just felt something. I felt what's going on. I know I can do this. I know I, how do I help? Well, that's the next step. The desire, the desire to be together and want to help and only help each other. That is how you do you. So thanks so much. Please look in the descriptions below for my most recent upcoming webinar, my books, my tutorials, and check out my website, twinflamereconnection.com because maybe it's time for you to reconnect with love. Please like and subscribe and tell others about these videos. Share them. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.